everybody, it's Sam Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. This week's hobby based card is using the banner dies and I've created this really simple, colourful happy birthday card, which I think is quite a unisex card as well. So you could give this for male or female. Um, very straightforward, but I really do think it still does kind of pack a punch. I think it's got a really cool look about it. I've set the banner dies all on foam. Um, so they are lifted off the page and then that birthday is stamped um, directly onto the card base so it's you know it's got a few um, kind of levels to it it's got the um, dimension there with the Nouveau drops as well and then some texture with the ribbon that I've tied in a knot on the top so that's today's card so I'll pop that one just over there um, it's on a 7x5 card base in landscape so if you're cutting this from your own cardstock, it'll be a piece of 10 by 7 and along the 10 inch sky side you want to score at 5 inches and then just fold it in half and that'll give you your landscape or portrait but we're going to be working in landscape orientation today. Then we have all the bits and pieces in. So I've already gone ahead and die cut um, the same colours. I've done four of them just because you don't need to watch me do all of that. But I am going to do the yellow one and I've got my own stash there, just some letter dies that I've pulled out. So any small letter dies really. Depends how big you're doing your card. If you're doing a smaller card, you do have the smaller ones here and you also could use very small letters in those. So it's entirely up to you, but I've used the, the middle one. Okay, so yeah, it's the third smallest or the third largest, depending on how you look at it, but it's that middle um, one here. And sorry, it's bunting, not banner. I always say banner, but it's not, it's the bunting. Um, one there. So what you want to do is cut out these ones. Um, you may want to do the multicoloured. I've done the multicoloured just because I wanted it to kind of be a card that would work for both male and female but again if you're doing this for someone specific then obviously you can match your colours um, however you want so you can really kind of change it up a bit. But I quite liked that rainbow with the um, the black. Okay, so just so you can see how these ones cut, they've got a really nice stitched detail around the edge there as well. So that's my colours done there. And then what you need to do, what I found was worked well for me to know that I was going to get everything nice and straight. Just grab a ruler keep that to one side so we need it in a minute and along every one of these what you want to do is just mark a light pencil mark from the very top of that little flag part there so where it goes up to create that bunting effect just put a pencil line just a thin one you can just see there okay and that's where we're going to line our letters up so it just means that every letter is exactly the same. Now you may want to have yours all different, by all means you can do, but this is how I found it easier, easiest to do if you do want to do it this same way. So I'm just going to go along there and just pop a pencil mark on all of my other pieces. Okay, so I've gone along and done all the pencils and pencil lines and I've also gone ahead and die cut all bar one of the letters. Now I've kept the same sequence but I've just flipped it so rather than starting with the orange again I'm starting with the green and working backwards with this one here. So if you are doing the same with the word happy obviously you will have the parts of the P in the middle are loose and again the A. You need to make sure you keep that because we'll be sticking them inside the letters once we all attach it. So I've just got the Y here and just popping it in the middle just literally just above that pencil mark and if you keep the same that you know the same um, way with all your other letters that you'll get them nice and straight and then just again just carefully run that one through and again keep all the little letters because they are handy for another card you could just do the reverse so you could just have the, a more simplified card with all of the, the letters that you've cut out right that is everything die cut so now what we want to do is Grab your card base and I done a pencil mark on here. What was it at again? Right, I'm using it the wrong way around. Um, one and five eighths. So just 
just come up the side. Again, this will depend on if you're using the same um, bunting dies as me, but basically with this one here, I'm just coming up one, one and five eighths of an inch. And um, I keep forgetting I can do it with that ruler. I'll just bring this one in here. And just do a fine line and this is the line I'm going to use now with my stamping platform so that I can make sure I get my sentiment nice and straight and within a nice area, like an equal distance from the, the bottom of all of the bunting there. So what I have here is I wanted a nice big birthday word and I couldn't find any on their own. I've got lots of small ones, but nothing big. But this Dovecraft birthday boy is a really nice size at birthday so I'm going to show you a way to use part of a stamp so partial stamping um, and you can just basically you just cover one half so all I want to ink up here is the birthday so I'm just going to have got just got this piece of card here now I've already lined this up from the last card I done so I know that when I bring that over that birthday is going to sit nicely within this area here just below the pencil mark Okay, so you will line that up first, lay your stamp down, check that you've got it in the position that you want it to be in. Okay, let me just grab my, I'm just going to use my VersaFine, pop my card over everything that I don't want stamped. Okay, so in this instance it's the word boy, I don't want that one. Then I can just go ahead and stamp as normal. And then you must, must, must remember to take this off, okay? and then just go ahead and stamp as you normally would. And lift that one off, and there I have a nice impression. And again, you can go back in and re-stamp it if you need to, but I'm happy that I've got that where it needs to be. Okay, so now I will rub out my pencil marks on all of my bunting there and also on my card. Okay, so all my pencil lines are now all rubbed out. Now you want to find the center point of your card. Now this is seven inches long, so it'll be three and a half. Now I already know that that three and a half sits perfectly between the letter H. So I'm gonna start from the middle and I'm gonna attach this one first. So the point inside here, this bunting, sits nicely in between the H there. Again, you can stick it directly um, down onto the card, but I am going to use some dimensional circles here. So I'm just going to pop a couple on the back there and then just cut a couple in half and just pop them down the bottom there, just so it keeps it nice and even. So like I said, start with the middle first. Um, this is an odd number, there's only five letters. Um, if you've got an even amount, still work from the middle out. So I'm coming down by about one eighth of an inch, keeping it nice and straight. That's the first one. I'm going to stick all the little bits in afterwards. Now I'm going to go along to the next one and keep working your way out and then I'll do that one. So just carry on and get those all stuck down. Okay, so that's all now perfectly so, uh, stuck down and nice and even. I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on my hand here and with my tweezers I'm just going to pop in the little parts to the, the letters there so make sure it's the right way up. Just a little bit of glue, you don't need to go too mad. And then this dinky dinky piece here which is so small that my tweezers are even struggling to pick it up okay so that while that's there drying I'm going to grab my ribbon and all I'm doing is tucking it under and over so I'm not even sticking this down you can pop a little bit of red tape on the back if you want to but I'm not too worried that this is going to kind of move around so off to the right hand side just in between the P and the Y you can twist it all around once you've done it, but I'm just going to tie it quite a tight knot because you do want it to stay in place. So just twist all the other bits around so they all lie nice and flat. And then trim those bits right down so they're really short. I want it to look like a knot. That's the, the effect I'm going for. Okay. 
And then with my Nouveau drops, which I have, where have I put those? Aha, there we go. Just to pop a few little dots, make sure you get the air out. So just squeeze it on a bit of scrap first. And then you can just, I always like to do three in different sizes really tiny one and then do a bigger one up there like so and it's those little details that I think just really do give it a nice finish so there you have it really quite quick to do but fun it's a nice way to play around with your dies and your alphabet dies and the stamping and you can still add all those other bits and pieces in there so if I just bring that one in that's the reverse um, and I think they look really lovely. So I hope you've enjoyed this week's hobby base tutorial and I'll be back again next week. Thanks for watching. Bye